Hello and welcome back to My POV in Boston. I'm going to be your host, Gabriella, and join me in exploring one of the best downtown seaport spots called Grace Vinea. It has the best food, drink, and live music and a great atmosphere for some fun with your friends. Now, let's get on into it. Join me on a great night out. And without further ado, let's go to the venue. All right, guys, let's jump right in. So Grace by Nia is located at 60 Seaport Boulevard, third floor. They're closed Monday and Tuesday, however, open every other day of the week. If you are commuting there by train, you can go ahead and just take any stop available near the Seaport area. It is a very walkable area within the Boston uh, city as a whole by Green Line, Orange Line, but if you are driving in, there is some street parking available and the one seaport parking garage brings you right to the entrance of the building. They do not have coat check and reservations are strongly suggested and they can be taken up to 10 guests and this is great for if you want to go see more of the live music aspect or just to enjoy your dinner so you can already plan out where you will be seated at the venue. Um, there is a 48 hour cancellation policy and 20, a $20 Per person cancellation fee if not canceled within 48 hours um, lastly reservations for guests under 21 uh, is 9 p.m. and guests under 21 must be done at 10 p.m. bar seating is first come first serve and does not require a reservation and an entertainment fee will be applied during dinner hours based on seating location um, this is just for the final check the entertainment fee for the band $10 to the bar and $25 for stage tables um, There's no entertainment fee for brunch and no entertainment fee after 11 p.m. And there is a two-hour seating limit. So let's go ahead and jump right in We are already looking at such a beautiful venue look at this stage area I mean, oh my gosh like the big grace by Nia sign and the menu Let's get into the menu and all of the different things that they have to offer now the opening act is where you're gonna see a lot of your appetizers here and over here at the main attraction is a lot of your entrees already and the side shows are all of your sides it is such an interesting and dynamic menu of a lot of things that I have never seen personally before being in the Boston area they have such a nice ambiance with these little candles and then the cocktail menu as well they have cocktails and coops free spirits champagne by the bottle taps beer and bottles and cans so a very wide variety for anybody that you would be dining with um, personally I went with the gimme s'mores the Belvedere vodka and the um, cream and it came with a marshmallow that they ended up roasting with a little torch that I thought was absolutely so cute um, and it had a really nice chocolate graham cracker uh, rim so i thought that was awesome and the setup for the band in anticipation waiting for them i'm telling you was such an exciting experience it gave me the feeling of waiting for one of your favorite concerts to start and i was sitting there just anxiously awaiting drinking my little drink and you can see me just being like oh my god it's so good this is awesome and amazing and just looking at all of the decor as well like the palm tree aspect poles and the lighting i mean definitely the interior design of the place just gives you the feel that you're being taken care of of. all of the staff was so accommodating as well and nice it makes you feel like you're really getting what you are paying uh, for at this place a nice bougie night out great vibes and experience and ambiance and then the band started coming out and setting up and getting ready and I am telling you I got goosebumps waiting for them to come out and when they came out oh my gosh all of my dreams had become fulfilled in this moment the vocalist she was absolutely amazing the vibes were immediately set it was not a very cheesy commercialized bands that we were dealing with as well it was very very precisely amazing absolutely was the cherry on top of this night was just how well and deeply this band performed I mean it was absolutely amazing
Um, and then I went ahead and got my appetizers. I got the fried oysters to start and I have never in the Boston area seen a fried oyster such as this one. There is always just oysters on the half shell or just like a few shucked ones locally or like imported over from Maine. And fried oysters, I've never had them, but let me tell you with that little bit of lime that they have and the toppings and just how it was presented was absolutely amazing. And you can see me trying to get this nice little shot of the oyster and picking it up, putting a little lemon on it. It was awesome. Um, just as a whole, 10 out of 10. I mean, I would definitely go back, even if it was just for the fried oyster. After that, the band started playing for a little while longer. Some more guests were just chatting around. Even the woman in front of us was making like a little bit of conversation, just saying how amazing this band was. Um, and I got some film just of like other people enjoying and clapping. But then I decided that it was time for another drink because everybody around me seemed to be having such a good time that I also wanted to enjoy the vibes. I got Black Gold Part 2 um, as well as Fly Me to the Moon just to try to because I was with a friend. So Fly Me to the Moon had these cute little uh, paper gold birds in them. Just like little origami and I thought that was such a nice touch. Like it was really setting apart everything else that I've ever seen from another bar. Like I had never seen such a nice decorative piece within a drink before and it was just absolutely so cute um, And then I went over to the washroom and the washroom is removed um, that I will get into later in this video It is removed outside the venue So you kind of get taken out of that immersion that um, Grace by Mia provides for you of like that secluded nice almost New York vibe area But the washroom was absolutely a 10 out of 10 And then when I got back I decided to try the Black Gold Part 2, which is their take on an espresso martini. Typically, a lot of espresso martinis that I have noticed are a little bit more on the um, lighter side, but this was definitely rich and creamy, and it was absolutely amazing. Um, but since I had a few more of their cocktails, I decided that it was time for some more food, and I got uh, the catfish. And let me tell you, the catfish was absolutely amazing. The fried catfish, it, I had never had catfish before. And for all the jokes you may make about catfish, that it's not what it seems, this was not what it seemed, guys. I thought that it was going to be a little bit more dry maybe, or maybe just um, another vessel, I suppose, for sauces. But it was absolutely amazing. The crust of it all, the flavor. I never had catfish, and I'd never seen catfish really on menus unless it was like a very expensive, pricey restaurant. But for it to be at this venue, I thought was such a cool idea. Um, the band had stopped for a while, and I was just admiring all of the lighting and all of the dangling cool beads that were coming from it. And seeing people come in and out and having the manager come check in to make sure everything was great was so amazing. After the band had stopped, I decided that maybe I should wrap up the night here. It had been such an amazing experience. I was coming up on my table, um, being at its two hours time limit anyways, but it did not feel rushed in the slightest. It felt like such an amazing, great experience. Um, I had absolutely no complaints and it felt like such a perfectly planned night and that that was the allotted time that I got all of my experience and really enjoyed myself and got to relax and dine. Um, as I was walking out, I noticed that they have TVs, so even if you are over in the dining room area, you can still get to experience on some level, even if it is through a screen, the band, um, and it was just so amazing. I ended up heading outside and looking outside, and there's a bunch of things in this complex as well at 60 Seaport Boulevard. There's bowling, there's other restaurants as well, but when I tell you there is no better place to be on a weekend night or a Friday night with your friends experiencing such great live music, great attention to detail, great vibes, and just an amazing staff to cater to you, and amazing food, unique food that I have not seen anywhere else in the Boston area done so right. Grace by Nia immediately has become such a favorite place of mine to go, a repeat offender on my list of places I take my friends, and just a must see in the Boston area. I highly recommend this place if you are going anywhere. And yep, voice over Gab is out, and let's go back to Gab in the moment to round out this video. The restrooms are right outside, and this complex has a bunch of restaurants. And the movie theater is really great. They're currently showing Mean Girls, and I've heard Mean Girls is really great. But this is the outside of it. This is such a fun experience. Inside is completely magical. It's transformative. When you walk out, you get a little bit removed. So there is that, but it's been great. All right, guys, let's go ahead and recap that night. But also, are you surprised to see me again? 
So immediately as we walked in, we had such a warm welcome by the host. I mean, it felt like I was saying hello to a friend for the first time, making casual conversation as we were walking in just about the venue and everything going on. They even told us that it was the first time that band had ever performed at the venue. And you guys saw it, the band was absolutely outstanding. The server was amazing, gave us such great recommendations. I mean, the espresso martini was outstanding. It was so creamy and so good and the whole night felt easy. It felt like we weren't being rushed and it was such a good atmosphere and time. Even the people around us were so nice and considerate and just a fun vibe. If you're looking for someone to go somewhere to go and need just a night out of relaxation, fun, great atmosphere and amazing music, I highly recommend going to this place. Just make sure that you make a reservation in advance. You know everything that you're walking into. Check out the band beforehand and make sure you get your seating correct if you do want a table over by the stage area or if you're just looking for more casual dining or just a night out at the bar but what a great experience thank you guys so much for coming with me to my pov in boston if you like this video go ahead and comment and subscribe down below and tell me more what you want to see in boston make sure to keep an eye out for all the other amazing hosts that we have coming up and maybe even go ahead and say hello to other boston gabby for me there's two of us so Again, if you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to the Fuami Network, where we give you the best and original local content where you work, live, and play. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Thank you so much again, and I'll see you next time. Bye.